Johnny here for Guess It Was Fate. Guess what? I'm back at my buddy Charlie's place. <laughs> Yesterday I got the two real, a bucket list for sure. I see a silver disc in the hole here. So Charlie's gonna bring it over and take a closer look-see at what we got. I was getting an 89.90 with the impact today. I'm going back over it now with the impact. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What do we have? What do we have? I'm going to squirt it with some water. I cannot tell what it is yet. But we will give it a closer look-see. Okay, it looks like we got a silver Washington. 1962. That's okay. We got more silver at Charlie's house. Ain't that pretty? And this one is Charlie's. Yes, sir. On to the next. Okay, my next find. I thought I was digging an Indian. I was getting a 12, 34, 35 choppy signal. Dug about a six inch hole. Scooped out some dirt on my cloth. There we go. A Yale key. Pretty awesome though. I like it. Yeah. Sorry for the road noise. But Charlie lives right next to a major road. Coming over here only a couple inches down, I pulled this big scored cap out. That's pretty awesome. Cool relic. I like it. Alrighty. Alright guys, look it up above. See that blue sky? Holy cow, it finally stopped raining. I know a lot of guys have been getting a lot of rain just like we have been here in Connecticut. Like a straight week of rain. And so I'm back at the happy hunting ground in between rainstorms. Alright, check this first find out. When I came over here, I was getting a tight signal. I'm using a lot of discrimination today because that's what Charlie's using on his Equinox. I never did this with the impact yet, but I decided to give it a try. I'm all the way up to like 65. <laughs> Hoping just to get the silver, maybe, maybe a little Indian in there or something. But anyway, like I said, coming over here, I dug about a six inch hole with that small coil, seven by four and a half. And I turned over the plug, moved a little dirt away, and look at this. That is a tiny ring with a stone. Right chair. Look at the tip of my finger, look at how tiny that is. Holy cow. Is that amazing or what? <laughs> I'm going to take this out, give it a little squirt and brushing, and we'll see what we have here. Well, to put it in scale, I put a little dime there with it, but this is even much smaller than that. It does have some designs on it, right there. And this is of a bird, but I'll try and clean it more when I get home. I dare not try and clean any more here. It seems to be very fragile, but that is a beauty. <laughs> and the Certainly the tiniest little ring with the stone like this that I found. This is amazing. Loving it. Got the CTX in hand today. I was getting a 6 inch 1210, 1211. Ah, that sounds like a nickel, right? I would think so. So I dug that plug about 6 inches there, scooped out some dirt. Looky here. Uh oh, we got a buff. Yes, sir. And like so many, I hope I can get a date on it. But uh, we'll do a little brushing off after a little drying out. We'll get right back with you. Well, I don't think I can see a date. Just like so many of these buffs. Where they put the date, you know, they all get worn away. But the other side is pretty nice. 
Oh, the buffalo, five cents. Yes, sir, I love digging buffs. All right, and on to the next. Okay, it's been a while since my last target for that buffalo nickel. I'd say about 35 minutes. Dug some clad and trash, of course. Not gonna show that. So, I was coming over at this section here, near the roadway. And I was picking up a deep choppy signal, 1238, like eight, nine inches. And uh, that's kind of high for an Indian, but you know what, guess what? I see some greeny down there. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Still got some dirt right on it. I'm gonna take her out right now. Look at that, my friends. <laughs> that deep, deep, gotta be a weedy. Yeah, I would say that's a weedy. Holy smokes. All right, you know what I say, on to the next. <laughs> okay, I'll show it. It's a 1914, I believe. That is an oldie. It should be down very deep. And look at the other side. Pretty weedy for these parts. <laughs> well, looky here. The fairies were out last night. We got a fairy ring of mushrooms growing here. I had to look it up for the reason why, and I'll be telling you about it. A fairy ring is a naturally occurring ring or arc of mushrooms. They send out their tendrils, and the grass grows greener in that spot also. Howdy, guys. Johnny here for Guess it was fate. <laughs> Got the shirt on today because it's going to be in the low 80s. All right, I am working with the impact today and I'll tell you more right in this next minute. Yes, sir, I'm out here with my impact today and I'm trying in five kilohertz with the FE volume of one. And I was starting at a discrimination level of 11. And let me tell you something, today I was just getting pull ring after pull ring after pull ring and bounces around in high numbers in the dirt. But when I pull it out and scan it over the coil, it's a low tone 33. So I went all the way up to discrimination level of 33. And on my second hole, I was getting a pretty consistent, very tight signal of the low 80s, 80 to 84. And I dug a very deep hole. And it's about six, seven inches, oh no, seven, eight inches down. And I don't know if we can see that. It's in the corner over here. Right over here. I'm gonna pull it out right here. Now that looks like it could be silver to me. And I think I'm gonna give it a little brush and it looks like we're gonna have a murk here possibly. All right, I'm gonna give it a little squirt. Maybe we got a barber instead here. Okay, we're gonna give it a little squirt with the bottle. Get right back with you. Okay, here we go. I think I have water in here. Okay. Let's take her out. Oh yeah. We have a barber dime. Love them. It's been a long time to get one at the Happy Hunting Ground. Yoo-hoo, baby! love these coins all right I'm gonna give it a good cleaning and we'll take a closer look see all right I gave her a better cleaning it looks like we have a beautiful 1905 barb a dime <laughs> all right a little tweaking with the impact and it turns it up boy this was a really tight signal let's take a look at the reverse oh yeah I'll shine this up at home the dark one there but as Don would say from Deep Digger Duo, happy to have it. 
You bet. All right, on to the next. Well, I stuck the pen pointer back in the hole and a little farther up, we had what looks like a crushed light bulb base. <laughs> That's why that signal was so tight, but it was still giving me that high 80 to 84 signal. Beautiful.